loved his philosophy lo loves what he brings to the table but doesn't this kind of feel like an outside the box john schneider kind of move and, and i'll tell you this when i asked john schneider a question about a year or two ago i asked him why he took a certain player in the draft and he said simply because he's the best player on the board and the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the pudding when it comes to his, his defense we're talking a bad bad defense this past year doing it with a bunch of just i'm not gonna say jags but doing it with some guys that are not just high profile type of defensive players he did it with those group of guys see his personality see that he did it at the college level at the pro level he comes from a phenomenal culture a phenomenal organization the iz newsoms the harbaugh's and um, I believe that everyone in the city of Seattle would be in, in, on full board and full <clears throat> go with bringing them in. You know what strikes me, KJ, and I just thought about this uh, along those lines? Who hammered the Seahawks this year? <sighs> Who humiliated them <laughs> it was physically like, this year? Yeah, it was like a big sledgehammer uh, against an ant. <laughs> That's what the Baltimore Ravens did against us. Mm -hmm. I'm like, can we not move the ball? Can Nothing. Couldn't function. <laughs> Why do they have 17 guys on defense and we only have two? <laughs> That's what, that's what it looks like out yeah. there. And um, just completely just, like you said, hammered annihilated us. Completely them. annihilated yeah. us. And so let's, hey, you, you get away from Baltimore. You come over here and let's annihilate the San Francisco 49ers. Let's annihilate the, uh, the Los Angeles Rams because we're going against a really tough division. We're going against some really, really phenomenal offensive coordinators. And we need someone younger, someone new, someone with this really creative mind to come in here. Let's get this thing back so on track. So tell me a little bit about that Baltimore defense and what it is you liked about it. You say that they weren't a ton of stars, but certainly at the linebacker position, they had a couple. I mean, Roquan Smith's one of the best in mm -hmm. the league. Uh, he's a bad man. Mm -hmm. And also... Humphrey at corners, a great corner. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Queen, Queen good. drafted mm -hmm. uh, right around the same time as, as uh, Jordan Brooks was. I mean, they, they got some guys. They had three. Does it mean something to you that he had that much success with those kind of linebackers and all of that? What, yes. what do you get out of his defense when you watch it and i went and watched um i watched kyle hamilton mm -hmm. i watched the way he utilized the kyle hamilton had him in deep third had him covering man to man blitzing him blitzing him a lot kyle van noy jadavion Clowney, like he really brought guys to life and roquan smith he had his man in the middle you're the guy you're the alpha male you get everyone lined up you get everyone directed on this football field and so when you talk about you got to have you got to have guys to bring your defense to life. And so I believe that everyone with the Baltimore Ravens did their part this football season. It's very frustrating watching them uh, versus, versus the Kansas City Chiefs. But zero points? Zero points in the second half? Is that a, mm -hmm. is that a fact? Is that a correct stat yeah. mm -hmm. against Patty Mahomes, Andy Reid, mm -hmm. Travis Kelsey? <laughs> that, that's not easy to do. And so um, hats off to him. And um, it got to go down today. It has to go down. Yeah, you got to make this decision. The calendar is uh, turning, and the NFL never slows down every single day. Does it? Is it impressive? We just had Ross Tucker on last hour, and, and maybe next segment, KJ, we can dig into the traits that coaches have and those that have been the most impressive that you've been around. Does it strike you that the dude didn't even play football his senior year of high school? Whoa. He Nor did. college. He was injured his senior year of high school. Oh, okay. Didn't play in college. Right, it's, it's had to work his way up. He's a GA at Georgia with Mark Rick down there, and just is a guy that you know doesn't come in there with pelts on the wall from a football playing standpoint, and yet gets dudes to play at the level he has both in Michigan and at Baltimore. Mm -mm. If you're if you're a man, if you understand who you are as a human being, who you are as a coach, and you stand on that, and you know what the heck you're talking about, you will be well received from guys. But if you come in that room and, and you know you say some off the wall stuff, you ask of something that 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 we feel like we can't do as players, that's really hard to connect with. <laughs> I've, I've had coaches to ask something of me, and I'm I'm like I feel like I can get, I can do anything on the football field, but what you're asking of me, you're, you're pushing it. You're really pushing it, and so I don't think that this is a Mike uh, McDonald. Um, trait a characteristic of him mm. we could see how he's brought guys to life at the college level at the mm -hmm. pro level mm -hmm. and um he come from a good tree and i believe that this um the toughness if he does come here the toughness i hear about those ravens training camps who is not fun salt it Dude. is not they shouldn't be fun. You guys had too much fun in your day, KJ. We, no, I think we did. <laughs> I, I think we did. Do you really? I, th I think we did. We, 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 we didn't tackle. We didn't tackle. And I believe that those guys over there, they take <laughs> guys to the ground. Wow. Yeah. They, they have a live period. Live! 
everyone's live, stay off the quarterback. Mm-hmm. I didn't tackle guys until preseason, <laughs> game one. Or sometimes regular season, wow. game one. Yep. And so it will be a different <laughs> – Good type of energy. I it, know Brock is like that. That's oh. that's Brock's that's Brock's oh, thing right there. Tackle, language. Tackle. Yeah. Oh. Speaking my love language. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, we're gonna have to you write the uh, my front page story dot com for Brock on yes. that. Also, how are you gonna do against these guys? How's your horsepower? What do you always say, KJ, when you match up with the Niners, which you've not matched up well the last five times? Can you match Shanahan's mm-hmm. horsepower? <laughs> this guy seems to be able to. Look at Shanahan, top five rushing offense, top five when it comes to passing, always scoring in the red zone. Kyle Shanahan is the best play caller of this generation. And you made that team look like that. Yep. You created five interceptions. You made Christian McCaffrey do absolutely nothing on the field. What are, what are we talking about, guys? So, sign the dotted line. Come, come, <laughs> come, come, come sign the dotted line.